This amazing animation done by ISO Hashimoto shows where all the alleged nuclear detonations took place between 1945 and 1998. I say alleged because in our research we can see using this kind of alleged technology it would have detrimental effects to the workings of the realm. In other words they probably used masses of TNT or other explosive devices. The world projection ISO used was also in accordance with the globe model. With our model of the realm I modified his map to represent a Mercator style of projection and overlaid our Nascaline grid over it. It is not a perfect fit, just a rough guide to show how they relate to the grid. This video also makes a mockery of alleged radioactive contamination as I'm sure you will agree after watching this. The whole world would already be heavily infected. Galen Windsor also states the nuclear industry is a scare scam. If you do not know who he is, I suggest you look him up. I'll leave a link to one of his videos below.
I got a black bottle. This stuff comes in white bottle. A bottle of no-dose. You can send children down to the drugstore to buy no-dose. All they need is money. In this are six, 60 white caffeine pellets. And this one is uranium oxide, U308. You can't buy it for love nor money. The state of Washington sent two of their Gestapo agents over to my home to confiscate my uranium samples on the 17th of December last year. Got a challenge. I'd like to have somebody in the room volunteer to take all of this bottle or all of this bottle. The only thing that I'll tell you is that one of them won't hurt you and the other one will kill you. Do you want the white stuff or the black stuff? White stuff? You do. There's enough in there to kill four men your size. the government says we got to ban this material. It's radioactive. Let's check it in the bottom of the bottle. Not very radioactive. Let's take the cap off. Oh goodness. Very radioactive. This instrument will only count gamma, energy. It's just energy. Lights coming from those lights, only you're getting lots of infrared from the lights as well as ultraviolet. Energy response, and it's very carefully damped to only discriminated so it only gets the energy that comes from this. I don't want it to respond to a light, just to this. It cost me a thousand dollars to get an instrument that'll just respond to this and not to that. This is radioactive by any definition radioactive material giving off radiation that is read by an instrument like this. The daughter of this radon cannot be read on this instrument because it gives off alpha particles. An alpha particle is a di-positive uh, particle that comes from the nucleus. It has two protons and two neutrons, therefore an atomic weight of four, and it's minus two electrons, and if you grab it with a high ionization potential counter, it'll count. But if it travels two inches in air or through a piece of paper, it picks up two electrons, two beta particles, if you will, and becomes helium gas, and it won't count on an ionization chamber. Did you know that this thing right here is given off helium gas? Alpha comes from uranium. Okay, radioactive material. You pour it out in the hand, and that's radioactive contamination. Is it radioactive? Yeah, it is. Very radioactive. Now, decontamination is nothing but scooping it back up and putting it into the bottle. I just now decontaminated my hand. No, I didn't do a, such a good job. Not good at all. Is it still radioactive? Yeah, that's called residual radioactivity. Now, under the decontamination rules of the government, when you decontaminate somebody like this that's that contaminated, and this is certainly a reportable incident under current DOE regulations, when you decontaminate it, it has to go down a controlled drain so that you don't disperse radioactivity. Do I qualify as a controlled drain? That material that I just ate is uh, not soluble in body fluids.